Welcome to St. Croix Fishing uh, Today we're gonna <coughs> go ahead and uh, fillet some crappie and sunfish. Um, first I'm gonna do a crappie here and I'm gonna do this as traditional uh, making fillets out of it. First you just go behind that fin there and behind the gill. Go down until you feel the, the back. Bring the tip of your knife along the belly stay as close as you can the bigger the fish the easier get back to the tail there turn the fish around and then start working on coming along the spine real light you should never have to force anything otherwise you can really hurt yourself um, now once you get this you'll have a, a line cut there on the spine um, you can actually, some people will take and bring the blade all the way through to the back, flip it over, and then cut out the rib cage. What I like to do is real softly go in there along that spine and rib cage, work your way in there real light. It should go like butter. And then once you get to the rib cage itself, you actually just real lightly work your way around and back down the rib cage so you're actually cutting that out prior it's kind of a small fish so it's a little harder you're actually cutting that out prior to uh, taking this off the skin so then you take this go downward motion a little bit just to get to the back hold your finger on your left hand with some pressure go ahead and slide that off there you go there you have it then same thing for the other side you'll see how clean that is um, you flip it over same thing on the other side okay now we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the tra traditional kind of gutting and and uh, of a, a sunfish um, same thing goes with a crappie um, usually I do this when the fish are a little smaller uh, you can't get really good fillets out of them uh, it's the way my grandma and grandpa used to do it a lot too and I'm sure many of yours um, first we start out go behind that same fin again here and oh I'm sorry first we're gonna take and we're gonna take usually that you can use a scaler or just a spoon and you go from tail to head on this. We're going to get all the scales off. Trust me, don't try this if, uh, if you don't take the scales off. <laughs> Be a little rough. Like I mentioned, you, you, you can buy some scales little scaling devices that are, are made for this that work a little better in a spoon but that's what I got okay so now we go ahead behind that fin and the gill we're gonna take the head right off force that down a little bit make sure you got a sharp knife okay and then we're also gonna take the tail off And then what we do here is we just go along the fin up there, just creating a little slit on both sides. And then we're also going to do that right here, on the bottom fin. stay as close to the fin as you can now what you do is coming from the back of the fin be careful because these fins get pretty sharp here they're very pointed put the spoon back there and you go ahead and use your thumb and spoon to peel that out of there try to get as deep down as you can and you also do that with this other one 
see those that'll rip right out of there for you okay now you still have the guts of the fish here if you got a few people it's good to get a little assembly line some people can do the the scaling while the others got the fish looks like I got some of the guts already there they can put a little slit here then you go ahead and wash that really good and pack it and freeze it um, you can freeze it in water um, you see the ribs are still in there uh, after you batter and deep fry or pan fry these fish um, the meat will turn white uh, put them on your plate and they will just peel right back and that rib cage will fall right out of there it's actually a really really nice um, way to eat some fish and, and crappie join us back again at uh, stcroyfishing.com for some more tips